just found so much gold in one spot. <laughs> gonna get lost out here if you don't know where you're going. Good morning, Vietnam. Today, we're going to the river to find some gold at a spot I know to be good for getting lucky. So let's pack up, pick up our helpers, and head to them thar hills. I'm in my undies. So the first thing I like to do is I put on my underlayer underneath my clothes before I leave the house. That way, when I get to the river, I'm already half dressed into my wetsuit. I don't have to be naked in the cold weather to put everything on. I'm already halfway there. These socks are an awesome touch because they keep your feet warm. This is the top. I can't wear it because it's too tight still because I've, I'm, I'm fat now. Now I get to see if my wetsuit will roll up and fit in my new bag. <sighs> like a glove. I also got new bigger boots for my leg arms. Reflective vest for safety. Don't forget to bring a towel, bag, dull crevice tool, mask and snorkel, Whalen. Time to load up the car. So the reason I have everything in a bin is because at the end of the day, everything is wet and I want to keep everything contained so it doesn't leak onto this waterproof mat. So I should be wearing my own merchandise. Buy Pioneer Poly merchandise. It's good luck and all the boys and girls love it. Today I am supporting 880 because it gives you entries to win cool cars like Lamborghinis and Audi R8s. And I want my Lamborghini. But now you're on the dash cam, so let's change cameras. Sorry guys, I failed you. I was gonna show you making breakfast, which is just a weight gainer shake. <coughs> so today we aren't traveling alone. I gotta pick up two people, my mining partner and then Bailey. But I understand Bailey has been up late last night. Bad boy. So I don't know if he's gonna be up. But my mining partner will be up because we're going to my claim today and he really likes that claim. I really like these dash cams because you have four channels. You have me, my lovely passenger, the back and the front. So now that I'm out of my area, let's show you some Victoria, BC. I live on a little island just south of Vancouver called Vancouver Island. The gold rush wasn't in our area for very long and they had horrible recovery methods. So when you get in the water like I do, typically you do well. But over the past year or so, I haven't really been doing that well here. I think it's because I've hit all the easy spots and now if you want to find anything else special, you're going to have to wait for those big floods to hit and move all those big boulders. Every time I pass this one area, I think of being pepper sprayed because I was pepper sprayed. You looking blurry today? Now that I got our first guy, I traveled to the other side of town to pick up Bailey and we were off to Tim Hortons. Hi there, can you you? I'll have a bowl of cereal, please. Sorry? So I'll quickly stop for a second because I wanna show you guys these ice swords. These look awesome. Look at this formation. <laughs> it looks like actual crystals. What? Uh, ow, f oh. Oh. ow. You know what this means, right? Ungod, show me your weapon. Uh, oops. Okay, okay, you win. All right, so we got to the spot. Now before I get dressed and hike in, I'm gonna go, uh, well, I don't wanna stay on camera, but I'm just gonna play with the toilet paper for a little, a little while. So the first thing I do, when I get to the spot, especially when it's cold like this, is I put on the wetsuit first. That way I have time to warm up before I get to the water. Cause there's nothing worse than getting changed at the water when it's freezing outside. We're gonna do the best we can to find as much gold as possible, but I don't have high expectations. You never know, it just takes one crevice. So to the untrained eye, you're really gonna get lost out here if you don't know where you're going. Fortunately, I've been in here a lot, so I know exactly where to go. All right, this is the sketchy part because it's a steep hill and obviously it's gonna be a little slick. I do have a rope here, which is gonna help, but uh, still dangerous. We are here. Ah, what a beautiful sight. Look at all those icicles. It's a friendly reminder of how hot the water is today. We're good. Okay, I'm really, really warm right now, which is a great place to start. I already fell once, so I'm gonna switch to GoPro and get right in. Woo all right. The water is a little bit higher than it was last time I was here, which means I can look at the higher spots spots that are normally out of the water. Down there is where I found the seven grams of gold in that crevice. I'm gonna go check out that spot first. I gotta be really careful where I walk because all the rocks that are out of the water are a huge piece of ice. I just gotta really watch my step. 
I started at the spot where I found that seven grams, and sure enough, I already started seeing gold. Yay! Our first piece of gold, now freezing to death, is worth it. I'm really struggling. My forearms are so full of lactic acid that it's just so hard to keep fanning. But I'm seeing some consistent gold in this area, probably flood gold, which is a good sign that there could be gold around. That startled me. I thought it was a nugget. <laughs> they kind of look like fun little toys. I made my way upstream to look at a spot I haven't accessed during higher water. I could be wasting my time, but I have to check. I just moved a piece of bedrock out of here and finding a bunch of little gold. But I got this big boulder in the way, which is going to stop me from working this crack. I'm going to try getting this out of the way, and then I'm going to try cleaning this crack. So what I'm doing here is I'm laying down and using my leg arms to help push the rock out of the way. All right. Eventually I got it, and we were back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I knew if I was finding a bunch of gold, even if they were quite small, it would be worth following the bedrock a little deeper. And I know I can't dig too far down with my body heat already decreasing, so I did what I can. I try to say this in every video for those of you who are new. Ironstone is a really heavy rock as it's iron. So it's a good indicator that other heavy metals are dropping in the area. Ironstone, boom. See, I told you so. So even though this spot was gifting us with a bunch of super small stuff, I knew if I wanted anything bigger, I would have to spend the rest of the day here moving more boulders, which I did not want to do this late in the day. So I decided to move just a few more boulders and have a peek to decide what I was going to do next. I just spent about 15 minutes moving boulders out of the way because I found a crevice that looked good and I just found a nail. A nail is garbage, but it is an indicator that, that heavy metals are dropping right there. Let's see if it's worth it. I had a tough time keeping the camera still, so I think it's time I do the smart thing and wear one of those masks that have a camera option. So this crevice looked perfect as all the gravel was packed in there, which means it hasn't been opened before. The worst part is that the deeper I went, the better it looked, but it was also harder to stay still because I was in the middle of the stream. So I headed back downstream to check out one more area, which ended up paying off. So just like before, I'm having trouble keeping the camera still with the water pressure pushing against my hand. I was also bashing my head against this piece of ice. As I kept on this little crevice, I was only seeing more tiny pieces of gold, which isn't very exciting. That is, of course, until you find a big pile of fine gold. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so much gold in one spot. The last time I've seen this much gold in one spot was when I was in New Zealand. I don't see any big gold, but that's okay. There's a lot of fine gold. I'm having a lot of trouble moving the overburden out of the way so I can suck out the gold. I can't fan too hard either, otherwise the gold will blow away. Sand is freezing. This is quite rare. Whoa. I would argue it's more rare than finding a nugget. What the f 
I was really worried I wouldn't be able to suck up every piece of gold because of how easy the gold wanted to jump away. It was important to stay patient, which was a challenge because the stiller I am, the quicker I will freeze. This is gonna take me a while to suck all this up. <laughs> it's a good problem to have. <laughs> I'll admit, this is a tough position to be in when you're in line of getting hypothermia, but you're also finding good gold. Okay, I've sucked up as much as I could see but the bedrock is still kind of loose. So I'm gonna scratch up the bedrock and try to really open it up to try to get all the gold I can out. This crevice ends and stops right there. So I imagine all the gold in the area was just collecting in one spot. There's gotta be so much more around here. My lips are frozen. When I was trying to fan out the gravel to see the gold, I blew a lot of it out. So now I'm on a recovery mission to save most of the scattered pieces before I lose them forever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so this spot actually goes down this way, but I can't sit here. I'm gonna remember this spot and come back in the summer. There has to be more gold here. I <laughs> I'm getting really cold. I, I do not want to stop right now. So just upstream a little bit from where we found that pocket, I found that seven grams of gold. So I imagine in this area, it's gotta be more. I decided to abandon the area and head back to base camp. I can't touch, I can't touch. I'm just gonna go near, I'm just gonna go upstream a little bit and hang out with, uh, and hang out with my mining partner, my and hang out with my mining partner and Bailey for a bit before I get dressed and go go back home, go back to the truck. How you doing? I'm good. I've been finding gold. Finding 10 ounces? Yeah. Nice. So Bailey has some tea. Oh, he might have saved me. Oh. oh yeah. I brought hot tea once down here during the winter and I opened my wetsuit and I just poured it right in thinking, you know, that would help. <laughs> that, hurt, that hurt so bad made it much worse when you're in cold water or any when you're in when you're in a coral nah, nah, nah. when you're in a cold area keeping your gut warm will make a big difference so having tea in a thermos is a great idea <laughs> my mining partner's working in a nice little crevice here so he asked me to go and look at it underwater found a little piece of gold I sucked up a few more pieces of candy from here, then made myself get out because I was getting really numb. Okay, I think I'm done. So I'm not gonna get changed down here. I'm just gonna hike right to the truck and then I'll, I'll see you in a second. So I'm walking ahead of everybody so I can get warm sooner. <laughs> My knee landed on that rock. Up the rope, through the forest, down a road, and to the car. Oh yeah. So I turn this thing on and crank the heat so that when I'm ready and the boys are back, we can all enjoy the heat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Woo! We did it! See, this is why this bin is handy. Everything that's wet can just sit inside there. I actually get unchanged in here that way. I'm dry. And you have to get changed pretty quick. <laughs> I wonder what they would do if I just like got completely naked and hid in the bush and then just yeah, scared them. I'm not gonna do that. So my phone's gonna die pretty quick. I thought I would dump this out and show 
show you. Oh, there's a lot of dirt in here because I couldn't really see what I was doing with that pocket. So it's a small pan too, so everything's gonna look a bit bigger. <laughs> Not bad. That looks awesome. Oh man, I wonder how much stuff I blew away. It's, it's all small stuff, but... Yeah. When you find gold, it's a good sign that there could be gold around. So I want to suck up the gold with my snuffer bottle, but I put my lid down somewhere, and now I can't see it. Once I dropped everybody off, I headed back into town, met a gang of deer. Gee, there's like 10 of them. Behave yourselves. Then I parked. Ugh. Ugh. We're home. Ugh. So before we weigh the gold and do all the fun stuff, the boring stuff. I have to separate all the wet from the dry. The wet suit, I hang up and let that dry over a couple days and I put it inside out and let that dry. But all the underlayer and towel and underwear, I throw directly into the wash. So another thing that I have to do before I look at the gold is I have to upload the GoPro footage, the dash cam footage, and then the footage from this phone, which I'll, I'll do after I'm done this clip. So I make a new folder. I go in the folder and I make P cam for my phone, D cam for dash cam, G cam for GoPro, B room for blue room. That's kind of where I weigh all my gold. I'll make an extras and that should be good. So a lot of what I do to get these videos out is a lot of sitting around, and waiting for things to load. We were out for probably nine hours today and I was in the water for maybe five or six hours today. But for the next 20 plus hours, even 30 hours, I'll be putting all this footage together and making a video that's hopefully not too long, not too short. There's a lot of stuff to edit for this video too. So it's gonna take a while. I'm nine hours in and I'm just starting to edit what you're watching right now. 22 hours in, <laughs> you see how fast that was? Let's dump out the gold while we wait for everything to load on the computer. <laughs> Look at that pile. So even though this is a lot of gold, I don't think it's as much as I saw underwater. I'm convinced when I was fanning down there, I was actually blowing a lot of the gold out of the way. So I'm gonna dry up all this gold and we'll weigh it. So here's the candy all dried up. And I must say, this actually looks really good. I know the gold is relatively small, but there's a lot of it here. So I don't think this is gonna weigh as much as I thought, but then again, I probably did lose a lot of gold while fanning. And here's a four and a half gram nugget for comparison. Okay, moment of tooth. Do we get to eat for the next year? What are your guesses? Mine, 10 ounces. 1.14 grams, so that's about $9 million. So that kind of gold isn't bad. Nowadays, you're not really gonna find millions of dollars worth of gold unless you have excavators and huge operations that's funded by Discovery. So for the solo prospectors, that is worth it. Half of it to my mining partner's bag and half of it into the January bag. If you enjoyed this longer kind of video, let me know in the comments. Anyways, I gotta get editing this video now if I want this out by Tuesday. So if you wanna support the channel, please subscribe, like this video, check out pioneerpoly.com for a beautiful merchandise that will get you through the winter and like always more videos for you to enjoy. <laughs>